Hello everybody, welcome back to a new series. This is Keller11 and I am bringing you my custom mod pack that I built just for this series. So there's a lot of mods in it and it's going to be fun. We'll go over all those, uh, I'll put them in the down low. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna just kind of chill and play and do some things. There's a couple of mods that are in here just because they serve one purpose for convenience sake. Um, I'll probably be removing those and replacing them with mods that only do the one thing but for testing purposes I wanted a couple of options so let the world load um, in the sake of making things less boring to start out with I uh, I did a couple of things so I built this base this is a uh, chiseled stone so I actually cooked the cobblestone down um, before I built the base I had this farm and it's kind of open and I don't like it, so I have to move it. But I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna try to do something different with the farms this Let's Play. And I have a couple of mods that are in here that I want to try out to see what kind of mechanic that I really want. Uh, I also got an Ender Lily seed. That's cool. Let me sleep, and then we can go outside. I'll show you around the world and what I've done so far. So how's everybody doing today? Uh, um. I got the house to myself for about a week now, so I decided I'd make some videos and start streaming again and see if I could get in the habit. Um, the voice, I'm sorry I'm a bit sick right now, but um, it's when I had time for. So um, I have a temple over here. I looted it. The loot's in there. We'll go, uh, look through it later. And then I have a mine set up over there. I kind of wanted to make like a little mining outpost there and then make a rail cart system. Um, not because I think we're going to be mining a lot, but just because I have the uh, I have this mod called Mine Col or not Mine Colonies, um, Village Box, and you can make villages with different purposes, and you can assign people homes, villagers homes. It's really cool. So I wanted to look into that because I I tested that for a while. So this is what I got from the mine and from the uh, temple. Really cool, cool, cool. Uh, I pre-processed some uh, iron and gold just in the sake of trying to speed things along a little bit because I'm going to be using thermal expansion because it's finally out for 110. I say that after knowing that it's been out for a while, but I've been waiting for one more mod, which was Mine Factory Reloaded. Now that that's out, I can actually start like actually play testing this with the mechanics that I want. So that's it. Um, yeah, so uh, I got a drill core, which is nice. Um, making a drill might be high on the priority list because they're really convenient. Um, but I thought we would get started with, uh, we can do some tech because I need to get some of this ore processed. Um, also, I'll show you around. This is the plants and foods. As you can see, I have Pam's Harvest Craft, actually additions, immersive engineering, not really sure why I have immersive engineering. Um, oh, um, it's the bell jars. Oh yeah, so immersive, I'll explain that later, but um, I'm looking for ways to automate planting and uh, immersive engineering has a really nice looking one, so I wanna try playing around with that. I also have extra utilities. Um, if you saw the resonating crystal in here, uh, quark is installed. So yeah, I think I'm going to need these, 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 and these. Um, I also installed uh, Mystical Agriculture in an effort to help automating uh, plant pr um, ore production. Because I want to do stuff that, if you know how like a Mine Factory Reloaded planter, you can expand it up to a huge area. It's a lot of blocks to check. Um, I kind of want to do things if I can like automate things in one block that would be awesome that's kind of the purpose of this and plants help that a lot so um, I think we're gonna go with an RF tools uh, generator because they generate 60 RF a tick, uh, tick I think so don't know why it does that uh, okay and then I needed a couple of torches uh, RF Tools is in here because I really like uh, the detectors and stuff like that for automation. 
Um, so, and I also like what McJD does with a lot of his mods. So a lot of Mc, I don't have a, I have about half of McJD's mods that he does in this pack, just because I really like the mechanics they add. So let's just throw a piece of. Oh, you don't accept tiny coal. Ooh. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, so for machines, I wanted to do thermal expansion, and thermal expansion is in here because I love the mods. That's that's it, plain and simple. So we would need for this one. Okay, so I needed to cook up some. Let's cook up uh, like sixteen tin and uh, four copper, just to not be wasteful. Sixteen tin. Do I not have any? I totally just derped on that. What is that? Tin and copper, so I need... Oh, that's why. There we go. Hence why I need to automate ore processing. I also have a bunch of uh, furnaces in here just for... With tiny cold, do not be wasteful. And then, and this is kind of my guides, and these coins are from Village Box, the, the currency, they're how you interact with the villagers. Uh, village Box villagers are much different than normal villagers. So I think what I'm going to do is, in this video, what we're going to do is make one, uh, start with Village Box, and then when I'm on the stream, we're going to get a couple of more. Just because you get coins for everyday mundane tasks in Minecraft, like breaking blocks and breaking plants. So, yeah, killing mobs also gets them for you. So, and you should be done. Okay, so, stop that. Uh, so, we need some glass. Do that. Um, so yeah, um, over here planted. Um, well, I got some cows and some pork um, in hopes of automating some food as for the uh, for both of them and milk for the cows I want to get. Um, we got melons. We got blackberry crops from Pam's Harvest Craft. Uh, coffee plant, canola, hemp, flax, wheat, potatoes, sugarcane on snad, which this stuff actually makes uh, actually makes sugarcane grow fi faster. Then we got some rice, so we can automate slime balls, some more wheat, some more flax, some hemp, a uh, bunch more canola, and some carrots. And then we got the single ender lily seed, which I was AFKing here a while. Um, got some enderpearls from. So as you can tell, I've just let this game kind of run a while just so I could kind of get in a little bit of a better position. I didn't do too much um, because everything is going to be repeated on camera and this is just kind of basic Minecraft stuff that you guys should know. Otherwise, if not, check out any one of my other videos uh, where I start a series. So let's see how you're doing. So you're getting a good internal buffer. Um, I also remembered that I needed some bricks. So let's get back in here and do some of you guys. Um, this animal net from Hatchery allows you to move them around mobs. Um, in terms of mob uh, spawning mechanics, I have actually, actually additions in the pack for primarily two reasons. One, power gen, early game, pretty easy to do. With RF tools, it's really it's pretty simple to automate. Um, and then you can do the item uh, manipulation with flux ducts, or not flux ducts, item ducts from thermal expansion. So that's for that. I uh, I don't have en uh, Ender IO in here because um, I'm trying to get away from the conduits and trying to go back to more of an old school approach where um, you don't have that level of control per block. Um, you have some of these where you can like conduct power and items, but you can't do like fluids and power and items. 
and redstone. So I like the limitation it puts on. I think it makes for a more interesting play style. Um, I have not decided which one between Applied Energistics 2 or... Um, actually, I'm going to do Applied Energistics 2. I want to go back to that uh, play style because as much as I love refined storage, uh, I just decided that I want to do Applied Energistics 2. I like the channel restriction. It makes things interesting. Uh, I feel you have to generate a lot more power. I have Draconic Evolution in here mainly for the fact that I like the way that you can do the wireless power transfer. More so than the fact of the Draconic Reactor, we might not get that high. But on the other hand, I also have RF Tools Dimensions and Woot. So both of those are high power mods. So maybe we'll get into Draconic Reactors. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll disable it uh, completely. I have Advanced Reactors in here. And I think that would be a good version to play to. So as you can see, there's this is like me play testing it before it comes out. So it's uh, we'll call this the Let's Play uh, Keller 11 Let's Play Pack Beta. How's that sound? And you guys are in on it. Oh man, I need more copper. Um, I'm only gonna do one for now. Actually, no, I need to do two because I need the pulverizer. So yeah, and then I needed two copper gears, four copper gears, so it's 16 copper. Uh, I should have thought this more through, but it gave, my, uh, gave me a chance to tell you guys kind of what the plan is. So let's just wait for this. You know what? I'm going to come back in a minute once this is done, and uh, we can go back from there. And we're back. So uh, let's see. I'm missing... Oh, machine frame. Why did you go over there? That's why I couldn't craft it, but I made all the crafting mechanics to get these. Um, except for... I love this recipe for gravel. Oh, does it automatically go over into this chest? Where did the gravel go? Am I missing things? Weird. Okay. So, what we can do is do something like this. If we have the pulverizer here, the furnace here, configuration of in, out, and then this will be in, out. Do I have iron chests installed yet? That is a good question. So I definitely want that mod. Yes, I do. Hmm. Ooh, iron plate. I like the way that looks. So what we'll do is we'll do input, output. Cool. And now what we'll do is, see those coins? That's from Village Box. So everything you do. We also will want some, yeah, leadstone will be fine. So we need two lead. Do I have any lead? Please tell me I have a little lead. Lead. Immersive engineering lead, fantastic. Okay, we'll cook you guys up. I'll be pretty quick so I won't cut away. Uh, do need to get a drink? Hold on one sec. Oh, sorry. A little more than a second. Okay. And I should have enough for those right now. Fantastic. We will then do that, 
clear out most of that. And then we will do this. Oh, you know what? I might need... I need to upgrade it so that that way, um, you know what? I can fix this. Oh yeah, did I break my pick? Yeah, I broke my pick. We can fix this. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Oh, please be or dictionaried. Thank God. See, and that was a block that I myself had placed, and it still gave me. Um, still gave me coins, so that's cool. Now, I don't know if either of those will... I don't know if this one will, so I'll leave it at the end. So for auto input, you need an augmentation, but for output, it auto outputs. Now let's see what kind of augmentations there are. Increases speed, increases secondary output. I need, I would want this one. So this one is bronze. Okay, so I would need, need to grab some copper and some tin is what I need to grab. So maybe once this processing is done, I'll take a look at that. Um, okay, don't really want to do this, but gonna make a bit more. Oh, I have some coal. I'll take whatever's left there. What is required for an induction smelter in bar? Okay, so I'm gonna have to pulverize some stuff anyway, so we'll just wait till this is done processing. Alright, so um, I'm gonna hang out around here for a little bit and then uh, we'll be back when uh, the processing's done and I have the stuff for the other machines so I'll be right back hey okay hey guys we're back um, so I think we got everything we need so what we're gonna first do is tin didn't have quite enough copper uh, that I wanted but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some bronze blend what we are also going to do is I got some pulverized nickel and some iron and we're going to get some invar blend and then when this is done we're going to smelt it and I can probably smelt this here I just wanted to show you guys how we're going to get the um, alloys because you could do them either in the mag uh, where is it induction smelter, but to do that we need Invar. So yeah, we had to do that. Um, so that's gonna probably be our next one. I also made some more conduits. Um, we're gonna focus pretty heavily on thermal uh, expansion in this episode, but we uh, I want to build the drill from actually additions, and we need one block from that to do it. So we're gonna do that uh, right now we know so let's do the actually additions and we are looking for the atomic reconstructor which needs an iron casing which needs one black quartz uh, we haven't got to black quartz yet but since we only need one I will just go ahead and smelt it over here I really need to move all this junk around but I'll do it in a sec 
Maybe I'll do that on stream. That way we can start setting up a storage area. Okay, cool. Um, I also think we don't have enough iron. Do I have any iron in here? Yeah, perfect. We'll do that. We'll do that. Place you here. We need a button. We are. Yep. That's what I wanted to avoid. Because now I'm just burning power. There you go. Now it's on pulse mode. So this isn't running. So if only these three machines are running, this generator is perfect. Because this generates 60 RF a tick. Right now, each of these take 20 RF a tick. Um, next episode, what I'm going to do is I want to start setting up a power system that is a thermal expansion power system that looks like to be it's pretty good um, so between the stream uh, episode I'll probably do a stream with just some reorganizing I'll probably move the farms around a little bit I don't want to do automated uh, do the automation quite yet um, but I don't like this here so I'm probably gonna move it outside um, so yeah um, now we can work on getting the drill and ending the episode so let's where are you? Oh, I have the drill core. So the drill core, the uses. We need three diamantine crystals. Now, diamantine is diamonds with an atomic reconstructor. And then what we also need is uh, three Inori crystal blocks, which is a block of iron in the atomic reconstructor. So what we're going to do is we're going to get three blocks of iron. And then what we're going to need is advanced coils, which need eight redstonia, which happens to be redstone in an atomic reconstructor, and two more black quartz. So let's grab two more black quartz. Cook you up. I uh, didn't want to wait for the smelter over there earlier, so. Oh, darn it. Uh, oh, well. Why did I have bl Why do I have regular coal in there? Why don't I have mini coal in there? I'm so confused. Oh well. Pretty soon we'll be able to get this taken care of. So let's um oh wait no. So what we need to do is uh, let's see if that did it. Oh, we need the advanced coils. Uh, let's see. Uses, recipes, recipes. I'm going to need a little bit more gold. Please tell me I have some ready. No, but... Oh, that's going to be... Oh, that shouldn't be too long. We'll pe get a piece of gold here in a little second, so it's fine. So yeah, between episodes what I'll do is I'll set up an area outside for farming and we can start getting an area ready for, uh, let's see, I think the only thing I need outside is going to be a tree farm, because let's see, recipes, uses, Uses. Huh. Okay, so we might have to get just coal. Hmm. Eh, we'll 
take a look at all that later. Okay, so once we get the drill, we'll be done with the episode, so we should be just about there. Drill! And you know what? We have no way of charging it. Hooray! I just wanted to get the drill. Um, the drill is cool because you get these upgrades too. So I thought that would be a fun goal to get to in the first episode would be to get a drill. And I know I cheated a little bit because I did all that stuff ahead of time, but it's all right. So um, I will show you what I want to do with the drill just so you guys know. We're going to get a way of charging it, so I'm going to do the thermal expansion uh, energetic infuser. Um, but I also want to get the I want to get fortune one at least. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's empowered. I don't want to get that high. I'll probably do the speed augments and the mining augment to get a bigger area. So those will be, so this is four iron, one iron, or uh, one redstone, one cake, four iron, four diamonds, four iron. So that's what, uh, so these are just the atomic reconstruct recipes. So I'm going to do that between episodes on stream so they have something to see because uh, stream is going to be a lot of mining because next episode's power gen um, is going to be thermal expansion based and we are going to need uh, I want some more resources so that way we're ready to go. Um, stream will also get to see two thermal expansion machines made. I just want to show you guys what they will be. Um, so we have, I'm going to make, uh, I'm not going to make the induction smelter right now, um, but I'm going to make, uh, let's see, what am I going to, the energetic infuser, which redstone reception, so this one's electrum, which is, uh, where is it, gold and silver, um, then it's going to be silver, another machine frame. So that's going to be the energetic infuser. That's how I'm going to charge my uh, drill. And uh, actually, yeah, that's probably going to be the only one that they see. Um, yeah, cool. So until next time, see you guys later. This is Keller 11. Have a good one.